So again, the rose, and then again, I do these in white, mm -hmm. and then I just lightly dusted it. Dry? Dry, always dry. So dust her up. A little bit of the green for the leaves. Light green, light green. Heavy on there. There we go. This is very frilly and pretty and girly. Yeah. And okay. Pet nice. Okay. So a little bit of water to get this on. Okay. Look at that. Pretty, huh? That's pretty. All right. And then I, you can use piping gel or icing to put all your little roses on, okay? And I kind of varied them. So I'm going to use a little bit of piping gel here because that's what I have. Okay, and just put them on. And they stick pretty well. I did the green, guys, against the top border here along and then area every other one was done with a, a rose against a large rose against the top okay so it's green then large rose then green okay you get the idea right those, those are sticking directly to the gelatin yeah i'm okay. using piping gel and it's actually sticking to the gelatin so because it. it's fondant and i just put these wherever haphazardly haphaz haphazardly Willy-nilly? <laughs> was very lackadaisical about doing it. Oh. Roses be everywhere. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. cool. Yep. So you guys Tiny get ones, general ones. idea. Yeah. Yeah, you flower it up. That's right. Because we can always go Yeah, back so and... you see all the flowers I've got on there? Yeah. Okay, and then I've got the dragées. Dragées coming. Uh, These are illegal in California, aren't they? They are. So, okay. Yeah, so which so. is why I have the pearls, because the pearls are not illegal. Yeah. So I have a lot of the pearls on here, and again, the same, the same oh. thing. Do you have a special dragé brush? No. Okay. Is it a dry or a wet brush? Piping, piping gel brush. Oh, piping gel brush, right. This is my piping gel brush. Gotcha. No, gotcha. So just, you know, just pop them on. Haphazardly. All right, there you go, that willy-nilly. <laughs> willy-nilly. Okay. I want one right here. Okay. Whoop. I want one on the floor. <laughs> Good. There you go. <laughs> the no one's gets. ever done that before. Okay. Yeah, never. Yeah. Every single cake. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you got a bunch of those. But again, and it's, then... very, it's very dainty. I mean, those little things add a huge, you know, impact to it. Right. Little flowers, little dragées. Okay. Yep. So, so far, so good. Okay, I have one last part, and that's the top part for this cake, and then the, the little piping that I need to do. So let's get our royal icing. I did use royal icing because my buttercream is not going to crust enough for me. So I am using royal icing with this cake. Which so I'm means do, no grease allowed. Yep, no grease. Okay, so here's your options. Again, I have a mold that does this top part. And I got it from Jennifer Dance again. There you go. Okay. It's Jennifer Dance Day. Yeah. I use a lot of her stuff. Cool. I have for years. You guys know that because I've recommended a lot of her things. This is a, it's a two-part mold. That's why I'm trying to get the other part Ooh. out. There we go. Okay. So you can see I have a part in here and then I have this part. You lay the fondant in there and then you press this on and it cuts, it'll cut it for you and then it also imprints both sides. And it's beautiful. You can cool. see it's a beautiful mold. I've used this a lot too. Wow. Not for Yummy Arts, but wow. I might have, who knows. Okay, so that's that. But, and that's not a very expensive mold at all. It's a very inexpensive mold. But I can also do the same thing piping 